Discussion on Estimation of Right Ventricular Systolic Pressure by Doppler Echocardiography Estimation of Right Ventricular Systolic Pressure by Doppler Echocardiography is done from the apical four-chamber view. The color Doppler image shows the bluish mosaic tricuspid regurgitation jet behind the closed tricuspid wall along the intraatrial septum into the right atrium. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The Doppler line is seen crossing the uppermost portion of this jet. The Doppler spectral tracing is seen in the left panel. It is a tongue shaped jet and the peak velocity is measured using the cursor. There is some obliquity between the direction of the jet and the Doppler line. This can cause underestimation of the pressure. Though angle correction algorithms are available in modern echo machines, measurement errors may be magnified. Peak gradient of the tricuspid regurgitation jet is calculated from the velocity using the simplified Bernoulli equation P is equal to 4V squared. The original Bernoulli equation is delta P is equal to P2 minus P1 equal to 4 into V2 squared minus V1 squared. V1 proximal velocity, V2 distal velocity. When proximal velocity is small, its square is smaller and can be ignored leading to the modified equation. In this case, the proximal velocity is blood flow velocity on the right ventricular aspect of the tricuspid wall in systole which is minimal. Once the tricuspid regurgitation jet gradient is estimated, adding the expected right atrial pressure gives the right ventricular systolic pressure. If the right atrial pressure is elevated, a clinical estimate of right atrial pressure from the measured jugular venous pressure may be added to the gradient to get a better estimate of RV systolic pressure. Diameter of the inferior vena cava measured from the subcostal view can also be used to get an estimate of the right atrial pressure. When the inferior vena cava is plethoric, dilated with poor inspiratory collapse, a simple method is to add 20 mm of mercury to the TR gradient to get the RVSP, though various complex algorithms have been published for this purpose. When there is no obstruction of the pulmonary wall, right ventricular systolic pressure gives a good estimate of the pulmonary artery systolic pressure as the gradient at the pulmonary wall is minimal. Estimates of the right ventricular systolic pressure can be erroneous if a good envelope of the TR jet is not obtained. Incomplete jets lead to underestimation of RV systolic pressure. When there is cycle to cycle variation in jet gradient, an average of multiple values may be taken. TR jet is usually evaluated in the apical four chamber view. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.